Hey babes, welcome and welcome back. It's your girl Benday Moon, and today we're gonna be talking about Boxy Charm. So we were a little late on February's Boxy Charm, but I'm super excited to share it with you guys today. This is the look I created. So if you definitely want to see this look and how I created it, then make sure you keep on watching. If you also want to see the variation I got for this month and a special surprise, then again make sure you keep on watching. Give this video a huge thumbs up, share it with friends, comment below, let me know if you like this look, and don't forget to subscribe and join my big beauty YouTube family that's just growing and growing. Also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos, and without further ado, let's get into it. Don't give us that paparazzi, baby, you know they're always trying to get me, a million dollars at the night scene. Disclaimers first, as always, this video is not sponsored in any way, but if you guys are interested in getting a BoxyCharm subscription, you guys can use my referral link, which will be linked down in the description box below, as well as any other links mentioned in this video, product mentions in this video. If you guys decide to use that link down below, then we both get 500 charms to use in the BoxyCharm store which is five dollars so it's a win-win use that referral link check out boxy charm so i have the base box the base box is currently 27.99 with tax it's 30 dollars. so i think it's definitely a great value for those interested in building a collection or just wanting to try new makeup skincare and hair care products the value for the vase box is usually retailed over 125 dollars all my boxes since november have been amazing so i'm excited they do also have a premium and luxe box the luxe box you can only get quarterly for the seasons spring summer fall and winter um and it is also a upgrade to the base and i believe the premium i believe you could get it also with that there is also a premium box which comes with six products um, you do pay a little bit more. I don't remember the exact pricing, but I'll have it in here for you guys. With the Lux, you do get eight products, but again, that one is a upgrade to the base box. For reference in this video, I am age 25, and I do have blemish-prone skin, congested skin, hormonal and cystic acne for the skincare side of things when we get into this box. Now, I'm really excited for this month because... BoxyCharm sent me an email actually maybe a week before I got the box and they told me they threw in a free gift. Yes, I have already seen the box because I needed to know what I could use and what I couldn't, but I'm so excited to share it with you guys and thank you so much BoxyCharm for that extra gift. So this is my base box, a little bigger than usual. And this month, well, last month was... Boxy Charm be my glam in time. This was the month of February. So we got a Valentine's Day box, the month of love, and they sent over some great stuff. We have our pamphlet, of course, with all our products and pricing. And this is our box, guys. So let's get into it. So the first product we're gonna get into is actually the gift that they sent over. So this is not on the pamphlet. I'm not gonna be reading about it because I don't know too much about it, but I definitely will have all that in here for you guys. This is the El Masca. I'm so sorry if I'm butchering the name. Please someone correct me if I'm wrong. I probably am, but um, don't come at me. This is the El Masca Unveiled Artistry Palette. This is what the palette looks like on the inside, the actual palette itself. I love it. It looks so sleek. It's gorgeous. The shape is beautiful. The color is beautiful. It has some weight to it. Like, if this falls, I feel like this would be very durable and sturdy. This is a 12-pan eyeshadow palette. We have our mattes and our shimmers. So, I think it's gorgeous. It has a wonderful color story. But I have so, 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 so many neutral palettes that it's ridiculous like i'm gonna have to start getting rid of some but if you are looking for a neutral palette then something like this would definitely be the way to go it has very beautiful shades sorry about any lighting issues um it was literally just very bright outside and i don't know what happened it just kind of got dark 
So bear with me while we work with the daylight. And it looks like it's about to rain, so I'm not sure. <laughs> Those are some of the swatches. I do feel like the mattes kind of came out a little chalky, but we're going to go ahead and test them on the eye and see how well they work there. What I can say for the shimmers is the shimmers do feel very buttery, creamy, and very nice on the skin. So let's get into this tutorial. The palette also did come with the shade names, but just on the plastic protective piece. So the first shade we're going to go into is this one right here, and this is the shade Honor. We're going to use that as a transition shade in our crease area. That's why I always like to test products out, guys, because even though the matte shades felt very chalky and dry on my hands, they do not feel like that on my eye. They blend really nicely, and I don't see any patchiness. I don't see fallout as of yet, um, and it just looks really good. So Next, I'm going to take this shade right here, which is Muse, and we're going to use that right above the shade we just did for the transition to lighten up the area and to blend it out a little bit more. All right, guys. So the next shade we're going to jump into is going to be the darkest shade which is this one right here and this is the shade empower we're going to use that just in the outer corner to deepen out the eye make it a little bit more smoky since this is a neutral palette I'm going to use a little bit of eye primer. I'm using the Ruby Kisses Cosmetics 24-Hour Magic one. And we're just going to put this along the inner corners of our eyes, right up to where we put that smoky brown, very deep brown color. And we're going to blend that in. Now, I'm going to take the lightest matte shade out of this palette. This is Spirit. We're going to use that right where we just laid down the primer. And we're going to blend that into the smoky brown. So to pack that color on, I'm using the Loris Beauty Shadow Brush. This is the dense one in the Christine set. I did get this in a boxy charm as well. Absolutely love these brushes. I'm going to go into my Ruby Kisses Tapered Eyeshadow Brush. This was the first brush that we were using for our transition, and I'm just using that to blend the color we just put on there, spirit out a little bit more to make it more subtle and make sure there's no more harsh lines. This is how we're looking. This is how it's coming together. I really am liking this palette. Again, I have a lot of neutral palettes, so it's not something that's like I'm super over the top excited for but this definitely is an amazing palette the pigments are so pretty the colors are gorgeous and although it feels chalky swatching it it goes on wonderfully on the eye as you guys can see it's blended out very nicely the mattes they pick up on my skin color and i just i love it i really love it now I'm going to take one of the shimmer shades. I'm going to go back into the dense shadow brush from Laura's Beauty. I'm going to wipe the excess 
product off that we had on there. Make sure it's all gone. And I'm going to dip into this shade right here. And this is Zealous. We're going to use that on the upper brow bone as well as the inner corner to open up the eye and to brighten up the area a little bit. Going back in with the tapered brush to blend out any lines. And there we go. So I actually did go into Viva City, which is this pretty metallic kind of red right here. And I put that over the color we just placed in the inner corner to give it a little bit more pizzazz. I wanted to go for more of a slightly pink tone. I'm going to go ahead and put on some liner. I'm going to be using the Wink Stamp set from Kaja Beauty. For lashes, I'm going to be using the Dollar Lash Club Lashes in Style Sydney. You guys can get a discount off your purchase using my link or code. So check that out in the description box below. For glue, I'm using the Chisel Beauty Clear Lash Adhesive. Absolutely my favorite glue. Lashes, they don't go anywhere. Anywhere. Next, I'm going to use the Persona Cosmetics waterproof eye pencil in black and the damn girl 24 hour mascara from Too Faced. Now the persona liner I got in a boxy charm and I absolutely love this liner, but I found a reason to hate it. Guys, this thing sucks at sharpening. And I mean sucks. Like I had the whole pencil and it's literally down to this and it's if you guys can see that, it's still not even sharpened correctly. So I'm so mad at that because I love this pencil so much. So I got a new sharpener off Amazon. Hopefully that'll work. But as for now, it's not working well. A couple more things. I did set my under eyes with the Soon Plus Immune Probiotic Setting Powder. First, I'm going to be using the Primrose and Cream Lip and Cheek Palette. Absolutely my favorite blush palette in my BoxyCharm by far, so far. I'm going to be using this shade right here, which is Deep Rose. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Essence Moonlighter Cushion from Clay Cosmetics. It's a sponge cushion highlight, and this is in the shade Copper Rose. I'm also going to be lining my lips with... The Ataya Deluxe Makeup Ultra Fine Lip Liner in shade Rich Red. Over the top of that, I'm going to go in with the Clay Cosmetics Melting Lip Powder. It's a lip and cheek tint. Absolutely love this stuff. I just swatched it out on my hand yesterday, and I'm excited to see how it looks. So I'm going to go ahead, finish my makeup, come back, and then we're going to talk about the rest of these products. All right, guys. So this is the final look. I'm loving it. Let me know your thoughts below. This palette, again, guys, is wonderful. It's amazing. Um, all the pigments are absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and has a lovely color story as well as the packaging. Again, for me, I have a lot, a lot of neutral toned palettes, so it wasn't a biggie with me. I'm trying to get some more colorful palettes in my life, but I definitely will be using this palette more. Not saying it's bad at all. It is amazing. Honestly, this might be my new go-to palette for smoky eyeshadows because I am absolutely loving how this smoky eye came out and I'm vibing with it. Now we're going to get into the next product, which is the last makeup product and the only makeup product in this box, which I'm not mad about, guys. Y'all know I love to try different beauty items, so why not? This is actually the same brand we just mentioned, Almasca again, Hydra Setting Spray. Now, I love a good setting spray, so I'm super excited for this. I don't always use them in my makeup looks, but they do add a nice touch-up on the skin to make the makeup look a little bit more flawless and just more fixed. Now, I did just finish filming the lip and uh, cheek things I was talking about from Clay Cosmetics. So, I accidentally had my other shirt on when I sprayed this on my face. So I had to switch back out and re-record this. So I actually do already have it on my skin, but I'm going to spray it on one more time for you guys to see. 
Um, this is meant to leave a dewy uh, look on the skin. So this is what the packaging looks like. Very simplistic, modern looking, almost luxury like. The bottle is really lightweight. And just a little bit more about the product. This retails for $26.00. And the Hydra Setting Spray is a lightweight mist that locks in makeup for a flawless, dewy finish. This non-sticky formula dries fast to set your makeup all day. Infused with pea peptides, rich in amino acids, Hydra Setting Spray will leave the skin feeling refreshed and moisturized. So let's go ahead and spray this on. I'm not going to use a lot because, like I said, we did just use it. But I love how cooling it feels. I feel like it did kind of fix and make my makeup a little bit more flawless looking. The complexion. It also does look a lot dewier. And not greasy dewy or oily dewy. It's like a good lightweight dewy. Sorry if you hear a squeaky toy in the back. That's my dog chewing on her a uh, little toy over there. The next product we're going to be talking about is this baby right here. This is the Bali Balm Pineapple Lip Scrub. Absolutely gorgeous packaging. I got to show you guys the inside. And this stuff smells amazing. I had my husband spell it and he said it smells like vanilla. And I know it does have like, I believe a hint of vanilla in there. But to me, it does smell more like pina coladas. But this is what it looks like. I was going to use it, but I completely forgot about it. So we're going to use it another day. Again, stay tuned on my Instagram for all those skincare and hair care reviews. Just a little up close of the packaging. Again, very pretty, very simple. Just really cute and small. Now, this lip scrub is actually a new launch from Bally Balm, so I'm really excited. I love to try new launches. This is $23, and this rich, indulgent sugar scrub is packed with juicy pineapple fragrance and exfoliating sugarcane crystals to gently buff and polish away dead skin cells, plus an ultra-smoothing blend of the finest botanicals. The super hydrating coconut oil and aromatic mix of cinnamon, orange, and vanilla essential oils will leave your lips soft and supple. So I love the different ingredients and extracts in here. I do smell a little bit of that citrusy scent from the orange. So again, I'm just super excited to try this. It didn't have like a opening, a closure sticker, whatever you call those things. So I think because of that, it did kind of leak out the oils from it. So just keep that in mind if you do purchase this, guys. The next product we're going to get into is actually one that I got before um, I actually got it in a BoxyCharm Lux my husband bought for me. It wasn't a subscription thing that I personally bought with BoxyCharm. My husband happened to buy it from a friend. This is the Aceology Detoxifying Treatment Mask. And guys, I absolutely love this stuff. I actually did my review over on Instagram for this little baby right here already. And it's a little bit on the hefty side in price, but I love it. It makes my skin texture so nice after I use it. It makes my skin feel so smooth, and it doesn't feel like it dries my skin out. So this baby is $69, and the Aceology Detoxifying Treatment Mask is a supercharged health retreat for congested skin working to draw out blackheads and impurities and clear clogged pores with skin-loving charcoal. The charcoal's antibacterial and purification powers are unrivaled with any other detoxifying ingredient when it comes to extracting sebum and dirt. And the antioxidant-laden botanicals balance and protect the skin for a poreless and flawless texture. Again, I absolutely love this stuff. You guys need to go out and go try it and get one. If you have congested skin, blemish-prone skin, then this is for you because that's exactly what I have. And this is what the baby looks like. Now, personally, I do think it could be in a better jar. It's in like this kind of like metal steel... I don't know what you call these jars. Um, and the reason I don't like them so much is because when they get to a certain point, it's hard to get the excess out. So I feel like there's kind of a little bit of waste when it comes to these. Uh, besides that, again, it's a great mask and I definitely recommend it. Next product we're pulling out the box is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Dew Drops. Now, guys, I've been seeing this one all over Instagram, and I've heard Glow Recipe is an amazing brand, so I am super excited to try this out. The bottle is gorgeous. Just wait till I open it up. Now, this is a highlighting serum, basically just a serum that's made to brighten the skin and give you a nice dewy complexion. Niacinamide is known 
to fade hyperpigmentation, dark spots. So definitely something that I'm into. And it also helps retain moisture in the skin and give moisture. So that way your skin looks plump, hydrated, and just full of youth. This is what this little baby looks like. It has this beautiful, like, translucent, milky, kind of, like, pink color. Absolutely stunning. I'm not going to open it up and show you textures because I have so many serums right now. And, you know, there's certain ingredients you shouldn't mix. I don't want to open it up and then I don't end up using it. So, you guys are just going to have to wait for that one. Now, these dew drops retail for if i could find it here we go 34 dollars. i don't think that's bad for a serum actually this highlighting skincare and makeup hybrid visibly brightens skin and delivers an effortless glow while helping reduce hyperpigmentation the niacinamide infused serum is formulated without mica glitter and pearls creating a lightweight buildable texture that quickly absorbs making it suitable for all skin types again i'm really super excited to try this especially now that i see that it says uh, it's not formulated with Mika glitter or pearls because a lot of brightening serums or brightening products tend to have those little crystals in there to make the skin appear brighter and more dewy. Now we're going to get into the last product, guys. Are you ready for this one? Because this one, I actually, I don't get this type of range in my BoxyCharm. At least I haven't yet in my boxes. And I'm super excited because, you know, hair is big over on my Instagram well, in my life, period, because look at the amount of hair I have. I mean, come on, guys. Style Dry Coconut and Fig Hair Mask with Coconut Oil and Marumaru Butter. Me and my husband were debating on how to say that, so tell me how to say it, someone. Now, this is a new brand to Boxy. If you guys didn't know, in January, they upped their pricing a little bit because they wanted to add better brands, bigger brands, and just make it a little bit better for us. So... I'm really excited about this one. Again, y'all know I love hair care and hair masks aren't like number one top priority on my list, but, but hair masks are definitely still an important part of my hair routine every so often. So I'm excited. This baby is $16.95 and it says this super hair mask is enriched with coconut oil and maru maru butter for healthy, hydrated and glossy hair. It's the must-have hair mask to nourish your hair deeply and give you the ultimate treatment at home. Your hair will be moisturized, silky, and shiny like never before. So this is how the baby looks up close. Very pretty packaging. Very pretty colors they use. As most of my hair masks are kind of on the thicker side, like at least a lot thicker than this. So I'm ready. I'm ready. Like I'm ready to wash my hair right now and try it. No, that's too much work. I'll be doing that next week, guys. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, guys. So that was all the products in our boxy charm. This month's box was amazing. Like I think I said it last month or the month before that. That like one of those months were my favorite boxes. But now, out of all the boxy charms I've gotten, I think this is my favorite, just because it has a good range of different things, and I got some products that. I already love and I got some products that I definitely want to try out and they all smell delicious and look delicious and guys get a boxy charm right now now for the value of our February Glamantine box this box retailed out to $168.95 cents so definitely a good value. It's always a good value. Always, no matter what. Like, you're paying $30 for something you would probably go to Sephora and get one product at and walk out the store spending about 100 So come on, guys. Do I really need to say more? So that is it for this month's BoxyCharm. We might be a little late on next week because I haven't even purchased it yet. Uh, so... Probably by the time this video goes out, I'll have, I'll have have bought my boxy charm for uh, March. But as of right now, today, I haven't gotten it yet. So we're gonna be a little bit late on that video for you guys. But again, just stay tuned. We love boxy charm. I'm gonna keep doing these videos because you guys seem to like them. So again, this is the finished and final look, and that's the end of this video, guys. If you enjoyed the look, if you enjoyed this video, then please show your support. Give me a huge thumbs up. Share the video with friends. Also, if you haven't yet, subscribe. And make sure you hit the bell because if you don't hit the bell, you're not going to be notified every time I post on Thursday. 
So please hit that bell so you don't miss out on these videos. Make sure you stay tuned over on my Instagram at Midnight Moon Makeup. And just comment and let me know, guys. Have you tried any of these BoxyCharm items? If you have, let me know in the comments. If you haven't, let me know which ones you want to try. And let me know how you liked this look. Again, if you want to see more beauty tutorials, more makeup looks, skincare reviews, and all that great stuff, please check out my Instagram and all my other social medias, which will be linked down below. We will see you here next week, as always, at 11 a.m. on Thursday. And as always, y'all stay beautifully awesome. Later.